Hey guys, welcome to part two of PHP front to back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get PHP set up along with Apache and MySQL. Now, we're going to be using a software suite called XAMPP or sometimes pronounced ZAMPP. And it comes with all of that stuff. And you'll see it says MariaDB and not MySQL. It's basically a drop in for MySQL. It has all the same functionality uh, plus some extra stuff. So it's the same exact thing for what we need it for. Now, XAMPP is cross-platform, so you can install it on Windows, Linux, Mac. Uh, if you are on Linux, though, I'd probably suggest that you just go with a LAMP stack, you, that you install PHP, Apache, and MySQL separately, um, and probably PHP MyAdmin as well, which is also included in XAMPP, um, because it gives you a more realistic server environment. All right, but if you're on Windows uh, or Mac, I would suggest XAMPP. There's also WAMP for Windows, and then there's also MAMP for Mac, which are basically the same thing. They all give us those three things, Apache, PHP, and MySQL. So you want to go to apachefriends.org, and you can click one of these buttons if you want to install PHP version 5.6 at this time. Um, but I want to use the latest version, which is 7.1. So I'm going to click on this green button here. Okay, and then if you look over here, it shows you the different versions. This is all for Windows, this is Linux, this is Mac. So we want 7.1.1. So I'm going to click download and we're going to save that. Okay, and that's 120 megabytes, so it might take a minute or two. All right, so that's all set. Let's go ahead and open that up. Now, if you get this message, it's just telling you that uh, if you have user account control um, enabled, it might give you some issues, but I've, I've actually never had an issue with it. So uh, we'll just click OK. OK, and then we're going to just get an installer window like this. We're just going to click Next. And then here you can pick and choose what you want from this software suite. Uh, we have Apache, MySQL, uh, FileZilla, which is an FTP server. I don't want that. I don't want the Mercury Mail Server or Tomcat. Okay, I do want PHP and I'm going to keep Perl as well. And then down here we have PHP My Admin, which is used to basically um, interact with your with your MySQL database in uh, in a graphical format. Okay, Webalizer, which has to do with statistics, and then fake send mail. So I'm just going to keep all those enabled. Okay, it's going to, by default, if you're on Windows, it's going to install it in the C drive, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to uncheck this Bitnami thing. And now it's going to install. All right, guys, that took about a minute or so. Um, now it's going to say, do you want to start the control panel now? And I'm going to uncheck that, and I'll show you why in a second. So let's click Finish. And now it should be installed. So if we go to, let's see, I'll go to my C drive. And you should now have an XAMPP folder. And if we go down here, you'll see there's this XAMPP control.exe. Now, the reason that I didn't start it after the installation is because I want to right click and run as administrator. Okay, you want to make sure that you do that. And, all right. So let's go ahead and just pick English. All right, so now you're going to get a window like this. Now, the reason that I, I had to run it as administrator is because I want Apache and MySQL to run as a service. Excuse me, meaning I want it to run in the background and I want it to run automatically. So to do that, you just need to click this red X and click yes and then this one and yes and if we didn't run this as administrator we wouldn't be able to do that this would be grayed out okay so that's why you need to do that and then we can start up Apache and we can start up MySQL okay so those two things are now running as a service in the background on our system okay PHP as well so now let's open up a browser window and I'm gonna go to HTTP local host okay so when you do that you should see a screen like this this is just the XAMPP welcome page um, notice that when we went to local host it got redirected to slash dashboard okay they actually set it up so that it does that now when you're working with your server 
the folder that you want to work in is in the XAMPP folder. Okay, and then you're going to go to htdocs. And this is basically the root of your web server. Okay, it's loading this index.php file, just like when you work with HTML, you name it index.html for it to be basically the root. Um, same with PHP, you name it index.php and it will load automatically. All right, now if we look at this real quick, okay, basically you can see that this code here, I'm not going to explain all of it, but it's redirecting us to slash dashboard, which is the page we just saw. Okay, if you want, you can just get rid of all this, keep the PHP tag, and then we'll just go ahead and echo. It works. Okay, because there's not much to that dashboard, it's basically just informational. Um, so if we save that now and we try to go to localhost, we just get it works. Okay, it's just loading this index PHP file. Now we can go ahead and start writing PHP now. You're all set up. Uh, but one thing I want to do is I want to go to PHP my admin, which will be at localhost slash PHP my admin. Okay, and from here you can manage databases. If we click on the database tab, you'll see there's some sample ones here. Um, but what I want to do is I want to add a password because you saw we could just come right to this without entering a password. And if if we built a script where we were using MySQL, we could connect without a password and we don't want that. We want to be more secure. So we're going to go to user accounts and you want the uh, root user and the host name lo uh, local host. You can see right here it says no for password. We're going to click edit privileges and we're going to click uh, right here change password and let's go ahead and add a password here. Okay, and then we'll click go. And then if we try to go back to databases, we're going to get a whole bunch of errors here. Okay, basically access is being denied because we never entered our password. So now what we want to do is edit a config file and just add that password in it. So if we go to uh, XAMPP and then PHP my admin, and then we want to go to this config inc PHP file. I'm just going to open that with sublime text and we're going to go to this line right here this password and put in that password that you used okay and then we'll just save that go back here reload and now it's all set okay so now we're we're using the password in this config file and then when we use mysql in our script we'll have to add that password all right so you now have php and apache and mysql set up on your system so now in the next video we can start to write some php code